What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Amongst all the Google Pixel XL2 coverage we've been going through, I want to go ahead and quickly post an unboxing video of the Google Home Mini. Uh, for all y'all that are not familiar, I have other videos up in the channel. Make sure you check them out to kind of see what you're getting into with this. Uh, for everybody else that knows what it is, these things are awesome. We know that they work flawlessly with the original Google Home and now they came out with this Google Home Mini as well as the Max to go along with the other ones. You can see it is just as capable and compatible with all the other stuff as the original Google Home was uh, as far as controlling your smart home and all that. You can see kind of they went with this new packaging scheme with one bright color box in the back. If you didn't see the unboxing video of my Pixel 2 XL, you can see they have obviously a solid blue there and green on the Google Home Mini. But let's go ahead and just dive into this. I'm going to do a quick unboxing for y'all. And then I will be setting it up later as well. Probably in another video. Alright. We have a little pull tab down here. And there we go. has a nice little grip grippy rubber piece at the bottom you can see the top it originally did have touch controls Google did deactivate that though because of the listening issues uh, it was activating without having uh, the hot word said as ok Google or whatnot um, one other thing I want to point out the only physical button on this is the mute switch so you can hear my uh, phone picked up on that question there is kind of hidden here one other button I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up that is actually your reset button if you ever need to know where to uh, or how to reset the Google Home it is right there so we have the Google Home itself obviously have a little let's get started literature guide again in that color pattern that they're using this year we have our wall adapter with unfortunately a USB micro USB not a micro USB type C a little disappointing but not sure why Google decided to go that route but they did and that is all that is in the packaging not too much to it I'm definitely excited to plug it in and get some sound quality uh, feedback out of it and see how it compares to the Google Home obviously it's not going to sound exactly the same due to its smaller size but Hopefully it'll be good to warrant the uh, the purchase of this to put in either a kitchen, a spare bedroom, or a bathroom. Thanks, guys.